everyone, welcome to Lynn's Everyday Ideas and the May unboxing of the Felicity Jane Willow kit. Let me show you what came in the kit. The first is the die cut shapes. What I will do is since this doesn't have the shapes printed on the back, I will take these out of the package and insert a photo of these all laid out. We got a stencil this month which is nice. It's a nice neutral pattern triangle that you could use on almost anything. Here are the puffy stickers. Then the stamp set. I did take everything out of the package to try to reduce the glare, but I don't know how well we're doing here. I like that you have this flower that's either solid, open, and there's the middle. I did use my stamp set from last month and they did stamp very nicely. Here is the puffy alphabet. What I will do with these is rather than put everything back in their package, I will take my tiny attacher and just clip them on so they don't slide around in my, I put them in the cropper hopper files. I've got two sheets of the washi this month, nice rose gold, one that looks more Aztec, a floral, the black dot and the pink. We got these rose gold paper clips and I'm not usually a paper clip fan but these are very nice. They're wide but they're also very flat. And that's why I usually don't like paper clips is even though I like texture on my layouts they're usually just too much but I think these will be perfect. And I love the container they came in. They're not floating all around. Here are the journaling cards. Something to smile about. And then on the backs are just the neutral dots or grids. It's a good day. I don't know what you'd call that. It's the same shape as the paper clip. A stripe. I see the shadow here, but I don't know what it is. Ah, my camera strap. Even though it's tucked behind the camera. I like this heart. It's almost like a, I don't want to say diamond, but I like the point so it's not completely round. Oh, I like this. I can see cutting this in half and tucking it. Oh, that's so pretty. If I was to ever get a tattoo, I've decided it would be something like this. I've got two here. A gingham in that coral color. Dreaming, living, loving the journey. And then here's the paper. Let me get it out of the... This is a coral and light pink, yellow, and a blue flower. On the back, this is a wonky triangle and that um, starts the bottom in the coral and goes up to the top in the light pink. Here's the branding strip.
Here's the equivalent of a striped paper, but it's arrows and scallops and doodles. Very cool. On the back is almost like a um, tribal fabric pattern. It's the edges are almost brushed. And then a confetti branding strip. Here is a chevron and that coral and um, a pink shade, but it's dotted. And then a stripe, blue stripe on the back with a navy branding strip. Here is a scallop yellow, but the scallops have smaller scallops in them. On the back is like a medallion. And then the branding strip is a yellow triangle. A blue dot, nice neutral. Oh, and then this is hard to describe. It looks almost wood grain, but it's got that really soft lacy pattern on top. And it's not entirely off-white, but it's not yellow either. It's really pretty in person. Very nice and subtle. And then here's the branding strip. Camera's having a hard time focusing on that. It's tiny little black lines. black and white dot. I like that this is not um, like this where it's completely perfect. The circles are perfect. They're perfectly in a line. I like that these circles are a little wonky and they're just all over the place. And then this paper triangles, obviously, but I'm not sure if I would use it up or down. I'll have to think on that one a little bit. And then the branding strip has words. Adventure is calling. And then here's the color cardstock for the month. This is an orange. And on the back is a pink. With always the scallop on the bottom. This is a dark blue, re reads with a touch for me of uh, teal, and a light blue on the back. This is really light, so I'm sure the camera is picking it up as almost white. And then I did get, because you can do free ship with kit, I got another uh, two pieces of the colored cardstock. And then this is the cardstock, um, or colored paper because it's not cardstock from the Caroline kit for last month because when I started using that I knew I was going to need more and then I got these awesome wood veneer I love the open hearts with the hearts that fill in and the two different colors so I had to add that on since it was free shipping and that's what came in the willow kit from Felicity Jane this is only my second month with them. My first month was April and the Caroline kit. And I have been really enjoying that one so far. I have made one layout. It was on National Scrapbook Day. I'll share that in my um, end of month recap when I show all the layouts I completed for the month. And it has to be one of my favorite layouts that I've made so far this year. So I already have another idea on how to use that one, and then I'll get started on this one. I really like these. I like the soft colors um, and how well everything coordinates. They do a really good job of that. So stay tuned at the end of the month to see what I've made with all these kits. Uh, if you get the kit and you uh, post on a blog or even just have a photo, I'd love to see what you're making with them. And I will talk to you soon, guys. Time to get the kids up for school. Bye.